Hey guys, Brian Delivers You The Goods here, returning to you tonight for uh, another movie review. This is a movie that came out, I think, on November 3rd, officially, uh, of 2023, for The Marsh King's Daughter, that I got a chance to check out for myself to see what I was going to think of this film, and sorry about the background noise, it's my phone and my laptop's probably going to be doing it in a second with the messenger notification. So, pretty much, I'm going to discuss what I watched for Daisy Ridley's new film, The Marsh King's Daughter, that came out a few months ago, but I'm still behind on movies, keep in mind, and I'm getting close to getting caught up. It's going to be a slow process, so, yeah. Pretty much, um, yeah. Basically, Daisy Ridley's performance was quite impressive um i mean there were some moments where it dragged a bit with her performance but overall she did give it her all with this one and that's what i appreciate about the movie what my critiques are about the movie is it there were some things that were explained but not properly to why they were at the marsh in the marshlands or whatever, and why they live there outside of the big cities. And then, to come to find out, the guy was her dad, the Marsh King, was apparently kidnapping his her mother, Daisy Ridley's mother, in the film. She plays Helena Holbrook in this film. And her father, uh, Jacob Holbrook, is the bad guy in this film, and basically twisted the whole truth around saying, oh, your mother lied, and all that, and basically, uh, he was an abuser, and other things like that, so, pretty much, the film pertain pertains to her trying to face her demons, and then going back to the marshlands to finish what should have ended a long time ago was confronting her dad and basically killing him. So, pretty much, I think this film was okay. It's not a terrible film, it's just not one of my favorites. Um, there was a happy ending to it at the end of it. But I just, I don't know, this one was okay to decent. I, I had some critiques about this movie with the pacing. And there were some unexplained things with the film that kind of ruined some of the reception. And excuse my yawning, I'm going to be going to bed in a bit. I do got to go to bed in a little bit. So first score for me, I'm giving the Marsh King's Daughter... Uh, 7 out of 10. It's a decent film. Not one of my favorite films. Um, it came out in 2023. But it had a decent script. Um, Daisy Ridley's performance was pretty good from time to time. There were some moments where her performance kind of was lackluster at, at times. But overall, she tried to give it her all. With this uh, film, mostly. And her performance. And some of the other actors' performances were fine or underwhelming. But overall, the movie's decent. So, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for The Marsh King's Daughter for this 2023 movie. Hopefully you enjoyed this movie review tonight, and thanks for watching.